ladies and gents welcome welcome we are in Arundel I just got here on the train took about one hour and a half and we are going to explore this beautiful location I've never been here I don't know anything about this place I was recommended it by one of my subscribers uh, Liz G who also contributed through her through donations towards this trip and suggested the location so thank you so much Liz I appreciate it I saw the pictures of this place on Google and they look absolutely amazing even though they are from a drone so obviously anything from a drone is gonna look better than when you are there on the ground but I'll do my best to to show you around today it's supposed to be raining today 90% chance of rain it's been raining all night so let's see if I'm lucky with some dry spells I've got my umbrella here that's the castle right there Let me check the time and temperature for those that, that are interested. It's 11.24. My train from London was 9.35. So two hours roughly. Well, I, I spent a few minutes there just being online, speaking to somebody. And temperature 29th of June is Seventeen degrees right now, apparently, and it goes up to twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, apparently. And the forecast on my phone is dry. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Let me zoom in. Welcome to English countryside. I wish I could go I could go closer and hang out with my friends. But you know there is there are fences here, I can't, otherwise I would. Look at the train. Quite noisy here, I'll be quiet for a bit, okay? I saw some I saw some nice fields coming coming here all green beautiful beautiful countryside and I see some more cows and and cows oh my god and I see a, a bunny a hare oh ho, ho, ho. it's doing hoppity hop 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 that was quite unexpected, but let me zoom in.
thinking back on what I said. I think I said it, it took two hours. I think it was just like one hour and and 40 minutes, something like that. Which is not that far away. Oh, I want to go closer to the cows. It's not every day you see cows so close. Chilling English countryside, I love it. They look so bored. I want to go there and play them some flutes. <laughs> I don't play flute, <laughs> but I'm sure they would be accepting <laughs> as long as they have some entertainment. I've seen some videos of people actually playing musical in instruments uh, for cows. One of the guys, if I remember correctly, he was playing a violin that sounded like a cow sound, you know, like a deep moo. <laughs> and as he's done it, the, the cows responded with moo to him, to that sound. And he's done it with quite a few animals, which was amazing. He was really good as well. It really sounded like a cow. So Liz G suggested I could go to Chichester, which is a town nearby. And I could do it. I could do two cities in one day. So when I was looking for tickets, I, I thought that would be a good idea. But I changed my mind last minute and I decided to do Chich Chich sorry, Chichester uh, by itself on a separate day because it looks like a bigger place. So I don't want to be rushing around. But what I've done is I was booking my ticket. I, <laughs> I put my return from here to London for 8.45 thinking I'm going to include Chichester in today's trip. So what I have left now, it's 12 noon right now, or 11 o'clock, and my, my ticket back to London is 8.45 p.m. I've got like nine hours, nine hours here, which is absolutely crazy because it's a small place. So I spoke to the conductor on the train coming here. I spoke to the man in the ticket office here in Arundel asking them, you know, like, if, is there any chance to be a little naughty? Because my ticket is advanced, single, whatever that is. And they, well, and I asked a guy in London as well, in Victoria Station. The guy in Victoria Station told me, no, you'll just have to buy a new ticket or just use the precise time you booked it for, which is fair enough. Let me take a picture of this, that looks, nice which is fair enough but then I double checked with a, with a conductor on the train who was checking our tickets and he said if I notify the conductor in advance coming back I should be able to get away with it I also asked him how much is the fine in case he was in a bad mood and he said don't worry about it don't worry it's gonna be okay and I said okay <laughs> You know, I don't like, I don't like to do stuff like that. And the guy, the man in the ticket office here in, in this town, he also said, you know, as long as you tell them that that's the case, as long as they like, don't, don't catch you and I'm just quiet, I should be okay. So I don't know. I feel bad doing stuff like that, you know? Uh, so let's see an adventure today. <laughs> This is the local police. Yeah, it's quite unlikely I would like to wait here until until 9 p.m. And I know I could take a train to Chichester 
but I'm gonna assume I would have to book those tickets in advance in order to get that price which was I think seven seven sixty that was an open open day ticket that means I can travel on any of those trains it takes half an hour to go to Chichester from here so let's see what's gonna happen the weather is gonna be dry apparently which is good thank god for that we are on Queen, Queen Street right now and that looks like an old house on the other side That's always handy. Do I need something? Because once I go to the castle, I don't think there will be any supermarket there. So I might just quickly pop in and get something. So I popped in Cobb and got myself some apricots only to realize I'm supposed to ripen, ripen them at home <laughs> but they kind of look ready so hopefully and uh, a quick sandwich I'll eat it once I get to the castle like a proper princess So I'm just gonna show you. I see some access to the water, I think, which is a good thing to explore. Jubilee Garden, Jubilee Gardens. Benches, my favorite thing. Look at this tree. Wow, definitely stands out. Wow, what is this? You don't see this every day. My God! <laughs> oh, sugar! <laughs> I just put my hand. You probably can't see. <laughs> I just put my finger in this. You know, I just touched the. Oh my God, guys! I better buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> I will have to interrupt this video just for one second and take my water out and wash the bird poo poo off my hands just now. <laughs> Check out a tree. Oh, meow meow. <laughs> now, before we leave, I want to show you what's there. So, there is cope, fish and chips, and coffee until cocktails. You see? That's a nice name. Your local coffee and cocktail dealer. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> Oh, I'm starting to see fluffy puppies on the other side. That's always welcome. Oh, I see wetlands. Oh, I like the sound of it. Since I've got quite a lot of hours here, unless I choose to go earlier, I might go and explore wetlands later on. Let's see. Cross the road so I can show you what's on the other side. Right. 
I love the grass. Let me zoom in a little bit. You see how fluffy? I love it. some sun I feel totally safe here I'm not protecting my equipment uh, by charging it as I walk I don't expect anybody to sneak in from behind on a electric bike or scooter or whatever so I can relax. Look at this post office. This must be the most beautiful post office ever. That road is called Mill Road, in case you are following on the map. Taking pictures as we speak. Oh, fabulous. The light looks amazing. So, so, so. Where to go? <laughs> Bakery and coffee right here as well. I had one coffee and two colas already. I don't know. Silly thing to do. I don't usually do stuff like that. Look, fluffy puppies meeting. <laughs> Oh, this looks amazing, these houses. That's antiques. Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could keep it. Secret garden. Um, I don't know if it's. Shall I walk through, guys? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I hope I, I'm not gonna break something. Look at this antique here. Extremely ancient. <laughs> oh, I need to be careful. I can't afford to pay for anything. <laughs> You've got some radiators. Oh, somebody's gates. And a secret garden. Just looking, it said it's a secret garden, so I want to see the garden. <laughs> there are 
busy sorting some stuff. Let's go. I'm holding my umbrella as I walk. I don't want it to knock over some stuff. We've got some plates here. So many of them. Let them go in the middle. Huh? I guess this is our war memorial. Nineteen fourteen, nineteen eighteen. Bagels and coffee, Pizza Express. Oh, there is butcher. I wonder if that could be a bull right there for the mighty bull. It has horns and he asks for anything with horns. So I'm just gonna take a quick snap for him. Like that. Look at the sunshine! So far, few minutes I'm lucky so far. <laughs> I'll take a picture of that. This house looks very nice, this one here. The red, the red lion. There is a fabulous painting. I don't know if I can show you somehow, let me see. The price is 1480 so basically 1500 I don't know if you can see it properly. There is some re reflection going on, but it looks amazing. Wow, that's definitely an amazing talent. So we are gonna go. I'm trying to turn slowly, slowly as always, not to give you a headache. But at the same time, I don't want to bore you with a slow pace <laughs> video, so it's a little bit tricky. On my left, there is a road I'm gonna be exploring later. High Street. We are on High Street now. Let's go to the castle. Apparently, there are some gardens as well. There is a nice detail on the on the roof, on the wood. Okay, let's go forward. <laughs> A lot of antique shops here. It looks amazing. Of 
For those that know me, I would be quite scared to buy anything from an antique shop because I would be scared of the ghosts coming, coming out of it at night. <laughs> you never know. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. What a beautiful house. And opposite that there is something castle-like. Oh, look at these! I like that. I could keep Mr. Wednesday, one of my boyfriends, in there, like a little tower. I like this castle already. So many little towers and hideaways for my seven boyfriends. One for each day of the week. Now let me slowly turn around. Look at that gate. Okay, so I'm taking a picture of this here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on that lion stuff that's gonna be good for Mr. Leonard Smith he likes his lions hopefully he's gonna watch it Last night I, book, I booked a ticket to Venice for a few days to film. That's gonna be in uh, September. I'm going back to Prague in a few days actually to eat some roasted duck. And obviously film. Pra Prague looks so nice in the summer, so it will be nice to be there just for a few days. And where else? Oh, Paris in uh, at the beginning of August for my birthday, 18 again. <laughs> I wish I could be eating snails and frogs, but yeah, there is no chance of that. Oh, there is a tiny window for my boyfriend to be peeping from crying for help. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just trying to show you. Once big meow meow caught you, <laughs> you are locked up, 
locked up for life, my friend. You have to run if Big Mia Mia is chasing you. I'm just gonna quickly stand in the middle of the in the middle of the road to show you this angle. Looks nice. I love this morning light. I know it's lunchtime, but still so much nicer than in the afternoon. Oh my gosh, look at that tree. I'm coming closer to the tree. It's a big one. Looks like the branches can fall anytime. That's not what I want. My brain cells don't need any more st stress. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or maybe maybe the branches could reset my brain cells to back to factory settings. That's a massive tree, my goodness. I know you guys want to see dates on uh, on some of the gravestones. So, oh, look at the angle there. There is another church or cathedral. I don't know what it is. Looks very nice. So I can't read anything on these ones. They are quite old. All of them seem very old. So let me see. Eighteen fifty seven, eighteen fifty two on this one. Eighteen thirty eight, I think that's it. That is. Coming closer to touch these stones. I love these stones. Oh my goodness. What is this wooden part? It looks it looks nice. But unexpected. It's all stone finish here and suddenly we've got something wooden look this is the old-fashioned boot boot cleaning stuff when you have muddy boots Tiny, tiny door. It's quite, yeah, it is small. Smaller than me. And check this out. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Another date, 1824, 1802 on that green one, 1801 below that.
how this is kind of life size, how you say that? Real size of the people. <clears throat> Let me take a picture of that maybe. Oh my gosh. Sorry for turning the camera so fast, but look, we've got palm trees here. And I see more, pa more palm trees there as well. Oh, oh my God, and so many flowers. Let me zoom in guys, so you see. Oh, my boyfriends have the, fa the most fabulous life. <laughs> you see them? This is literally paradise, <laughs> by boys in paradise. Palm trees. There is some kind of, what do you call it, fountain going on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. More palm trees here. Oh my goodness. I'm looking after them, I see. They can't complain. <clears throat> but those white flowers are insane. They are so beautiful. Somebody has got a good taste in here. I love those palm trees. Somebody's craving tropics, just like me. Look at that. In my country where I live, well, where I'm from, uh, we had a castle like this as well. And there was like a hole where the water would be coming from, from the, what is it, from the train? <laughs> no. uh, I'm failing my English today. Uh, but basically I found an old, very old uh, coin in, the, in, in that hole where the water was. There was like a lot of, you know, I was poking it as a kid with, with a stick and a kind of green, blue coin came out. Um, oxidated over time. You know, something like this, let me show you. But there was no metal on top, so I was just poking it and I found an old coin, long, long time ago. It pays off to poke. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is perfect, look. I could fit two of my boyfriends in here. <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> it 
So let's see what this is. I need to cross over to read what it is. Yeah, cathedral, I knew it. Well, cathedral church of Our Lady St. Philip Howard. So taking picture of this looks lovely. But I'm not gonna walk around because we've got priorities today. Oh my god! Thank god I crossed the road. Look at that, what is that? <laughs> it looks amazing! Oh, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Oh my gosh. I will have to find out somehow. I almost... Do, do you know what this is, please? Oh, it is um, part of the garden. It's, it's got a fountain inside. Oh, am I allowed to go there as a visitor? Um, you, well, if you go into the castle, you can yeah. please go into the castle. Yeah, where is the entry to the castle? You go down Helen Rand. I see. So if I walk this way, is there anything interesting at all? I'm so silly. And if I keep on walking, because it's up the hill, so it's worth asking. If I keep on walking, is there anything interesting at all this way? I don't know. I don't think so. Cool. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Bye. Oh, this looks amazing. So, what am I going to do? I'm just going to walk a little bit further. Just a few meters to see. Let me zoom out a little bit. You know, just to see the cathedral a little bit better. And I see a pub or something next to it. It's a gorgeous cathedral. Beautiful. Loving this. Look at the arches here. T tall enough for me. What can I say? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there is entrance. Like, looks like. We are able to explore potentially during COVID you had to you had to book in and stuff. So I don't know if I'm allowed to. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wait. Whoa, I need a picture of this. I'm gonna go in and I'm going to ask if they let me, if they let me, great. If not, what can I do? But before we go, I'm going to just see see it from this side where the sun is shining so we've got a nice angle hopefully sunny side I see loads of heads as decorations there probably see them as well without me zooming. So that building there, it's actually in, not a pub. I don't really know, guys. Fluffy puppy alert. Anyway, let me go and ask.
<clears throat> there was nobody to ask. So here we are. Looks impressive. <clears throat> so I'm gonna zoom in again. Oh my goodness. So you guys, we'll have to zoom in again, hopefully. We are okay with that, just to show you more detail. That's the max. I can zoom, that looks beautiful. That's the organ. Anyway, zooming out. So I'm happy. It was pretty straightforward. I just walked in, filmed left nobody gave me any trouble that's good king street paul and woodhouse st mary's gate in I just want to see what's around the corner. So yes, looks like we are gonna go to the castle finally, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I take you through the bushes every time I start a video somewhere out of London. I take you to the most remote places and then in the end we get we get to the good part. Okay, I'll show you some history about this place here. almost missed out the opportunity to show you what it looks like from across the road. Definitely picture worthy, looks amazing. That's definitely a better angle than the one right underneath. And benches, my favorites.
there is a man that just came from a secret door from the fence. Maybe one of my boyfriends escaping. <laughs> I'll have to lasso him back <laughs> where he belongs. <laughs> oh my goodness. You see that man came from there, from one of those doors. This is such a cute tower. Can I call it tower? So cute. Oh, there is a care, care home, St. John Wilfrid Priory Care Home. Oh, and they call this one as, they call it the Priory Playhouse. Oh. I'm moving in. <laughs> Give it a few years. I'm, lo I'm moving into the playhouse. <laughs> Looks incredible, guys. Imagine. I would be vlogging from the play playhouse for you. Another day in the playhouse. <laughs> See what happens next. Some drama. <laughs> so there is a city hall or town hall just on my right, but I prefer not to get tangled. I prefer to go to the castle. So there is no entry here. Looks like I'm the, not the only one kind of lost. People are coming here. Or may, maybe I am, who knows. So yeah, that's the exit here, I guess. Town hall, they call it. But you know what? While I'm on this lever level, I should go because who wants to climb the hill again? Not me. This is the town hall.
God, what is it? Pa the para Padines. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. At first, it looks like paradise. Town hall yard number one. London that way I'm on my way guys <laughs> I'm just gonna peep what's around the corner here just to see what I can explore later potentially yeah just residential stuff okay let's go back to the castle because I like it. Oh, this looks nice from this angle. Oh, I miss the sun. The sun makes it so much more colorful. Just taking pictures, that's what I mean. Okay. More lions for Leonard Smith. There is a birdie on top. I see big fluffy puppies in front of me. Big ones. How fluffy are we today? <laughs> <laughs> nice and fluffy. Yeah, very much. Uh, uh, would you know where is the entry to the castle, please? Sorry. Oh, um... <laughs> I'm going. Lady, lady is adopt yeah. adopting me. <laughs> Around there, around the bottom to the left. You see the Tudor black and white building? Yes. Right, go past there. Uh huh. Then you go left mm -hmm. and you'll see in front of you. Entry. No doubt about it. 
amazing. Thank you so much. See you later. some kind of tea rooms oh I see some seating sea next to the river oh clouds are coming I'm just gonna slowly turn to show you the clouds that would be such a shame if if I showed you the rest of the town in sunshine and when we get to the castle it's gonna rain. Hopefully not. But as you can see, there is not much traffic happening here. So it's quite like a safe, quiet, relaxed place to walk around. magical is this boys and girls look at these benches here whatever is happening with those walls I, I keep on getting distracted with stuff guys we'll never get to the castle I don't know what these walls are but I like the white color it looks very nice with the green <laughs> looks like old city walls I don't know what it is some kind of old house remains I don't know like the entry is here and the clouds are here too just my luck oh my goodness what's happening here Loads of benches here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. We recycle things here. <laughs> Good. You recycle what? Plastic. Plastic. Bags. Nice. You see here, it's all made from plastic bags. Oh, thank you so much for stopping me and explaining. I was wondering what it, what it was. Uh -huh. Thank you so that, much. Yes, that's uh, when I saw your video. Yes. Keep videoing and keep sharing. Thank you so much. Yes. I appreciate it. Yes, because together that we can send a message and re yes, reduce the plastic pollution. I totally agree. And our ocean and then landfill. Totally agree. I couldn't agree more with you. I am I'm all pro recycling. Good. Thank you so much. Good. I love your I love your hat. May I show it? Yes. <laughs> you still have. Pla you still have bits of plastics. Yes, it's all plastic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna it's zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It's all plastic. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> plastic is wealth. It's not waste. 
we made it as a waste nature there is no waste mm. everything is reused again and again and again and again but only mankind 21st century you see iron age stone age iron age yes. look at the plastic age yes throw away society let's change that mind agreed okay okay thank right. you so so much you're welcome see you later you, you can always tag us on this care for basket care for basket that is number four yes. careforbasket.com yeah because collect and recycle ecologically for basket oh so the meaning of the care is a collect and recycle ecologically reducing carbon footprint amazing Thank you so so much. Thank you. See Thank you later. You. Have a nice day, okay? I will. Thank Enjoy you. Bye bye. You too. Oh, interesting, interesting. Another fluffy puppy right there. So here we are. Arundel Castle and Gardens. Last admission 4 p.m. That's the website there. Let's see if they allow me to, to film, at least in the gardens. That's the intention. There is a map. Oh, I definitely need a picture of the map, so I'll do that. Just roughly. They better have, oh, they better have toilets here. Since I drank one coffee and two colas uh, today already, you can imagine. I, <laughs> I would like to go. <laughs> anyway, let me sort out the tickets and stuff. So I bought myself ticket, fourteen pounds to the gardens, twenty-seven pounds all together gardens and the castle. And I did manage to go to the toilet. That's why we are approaching this area again. Just to explain <laughs> why the deja vu. <laughs> and we are going to enter the gardens. Hopefully it's going to be sunny. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't buy the tickets for the castle as well. Um, I don't rule out coming back here at some point and apparently the gardens are quite big so let's see here we go thank you Wow, looks nice, nice and green. Oh, look at that tower on the left. I could fit all my 33 husbands in there. <laughs> Not only seven boyfriends. If you are new to this, just ignore it, guys. Uh, it's kind of inner jokes with the people that have been watching my videos <laughs> for a while now. We've been through it all. Seven boyfriends and 33 husbands kept in towers like this, you see? 
like a like princesses. That's the idea. Wow, look at this meadow here. I'm going to show you this angle here. It's massive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can smell the roses from all the way here. How gorgeous. I don't have to come close to sniff them. They sniff from distance. I like what I see. Let me try to get on the path. And before we go further, of course, we are getting this oh, distracted. So I've just noticed it's blurred. There is some secret garden here as well. Wow, that's an intense smell. Today's 29th of June, in case you were wondering for those that came later to this video, in case you wanted to come here and catch it in full bloom like me. Again, blurred. Look how romantic. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna do I'm gonna take one picture of the castle from here even though part of it is covered by by the tree and one from here It looks amazing guys, it's so massive. Like being here in front of it, it just feels, I have to tilt my head completely to, you know, to be able to see it. It's big. And that's what she said. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> my stupid jokes today. Look at this rose path. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. I see some kind of deformed trees ahead of me that look very nice and very deformed. Very interesting. I'm sniffing. It smells very nice. So let me show you these these trees here. Wow, the, the smell is so intense, guys, as you can imagine. Look at these trees, what can I say? Amazing. I need to take a picture of that. You don't see this every day. And I'm happy it's sunny so it looks really nice i've been to many gardens but i didn't see i haven't seen 
trees that will look precisely like this. I've seen elephants in Thailand and all sorts of stuff. I've seen bubbles in the Canary Wharf and all sorts of other stuff, but not something like this, which is nice. Taking a few pictures from all angles. Wow, can you imagine going to the castle and like walk through the whole thing? It's massive. They told me the gardens are massive, but the castle is huge as well. But you know what? I might go to the entry so we see what the entry actually looks like. Up the hill we go. Look at this thing here. And then we'll go back to the gardens. And if I come here next time, I'm not gonna walk around the city because I, I will have this video. I'll come straight to the castle and I'll just explore the castle, you know? So I won't be wasting, t no, not wasting, spending time on other stuff. Castle bedrooms. Oh, that's some kind of. Oh. I was wondering what the round thing was. So now you see what it was. I'm happy I came here. There are some. There are little steps here. That will take you to on the wall. Hiya, may I ask, is this the, the main entry to the castle? Yes. Amazing, I always wanted to see you. Thank you so much. So that's the main entry, ladies and gents. What a fabulous time to come here. The grass is still green. I can imagine during the summer holidays this is gonna be all brown and and not as pretty as today. It was raining last night as well, so I think that helps. Oh my goodness, look at those tiny windows there. Oh, and I see somebody walking on the on the wall. Oh, now I'm curious. I would love to go there. <laughs> so I will probably have to come back and do a separate video only about the castle. Anyway, today's gardens. Let's see the gardens.
Look at his benches here. I'm loving it here. I'm just I'm just coming this way to see what's what's around the corner as always. What are these? They they use them as decorations, I take it. Are, are these some kind of uh, roots of a tree or something? I see them. I saw them in Golders Green, in that Golders Green Park, a few days ago when I went there. They look nice. I just don't know what they are. Looks like. Oh my God! Secret passage. We can sneak into the castle without paying. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna go up, of course I'm gonna go up and see. I'll sleep like a baby tonight after all these uphills and stairs. Oh, this is nice. Literally thumbnail material, this one here. I love it. Sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry, something flew in my mouth. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Look at that. And there's a line for Leonard Smith again. Sorry for zooming in and out so much, but you see that's a line for him. I'm gonna zoom out again and get your eyes ready. <laughs> I'm tall enough to cross it. I would never do that. Looks very nice in there. But somebody more naughty than me would probably just cross it over and pretend to be <laughs> a, a paying customer. Oh my gosh, look at that bench, that's proper. Oh, this is cool. It's private. I'm gonna just walk through this bridge and stop by the lion and I want to show you the, the gate. Looks proper medieval. Oh, looks amazing this thing. Look at the wood here guys. I know it's blurred. So first, hashtag priorities. Lion can wait. I'm just gonna show you this 
Please get here. Amazing, like in the movies. Oh, <laughs> look at his tail. <laughs> Shit. Oh, the tail is longer than the body. Leonard Smith. This lion is kind of broken. I don't know what he ate. Some kind of super glue or I don't know. <laughs> gravity, gravity doesn't apply to this tail. <laughs> oh my God. Otherwise it's some gorgeous statue. Oh my goodness. It's massive, beautiful. Look, proper teeth and everything. It's a luxurious, he's got a little collar. Necklace, whatever you call it. Probably not a necklace on a lion, but why not? We've got horsey in here as well for Canadian girl. She loves her horses. So yeah. Look at that wall going all the way up. Hi to Canadian girl and her mummy. If you are guys watching, you see, this is the view of my boyfriends when they are locked up. Help, help. <laughs> of course, yes. I'll take a picture of this here. Nice angle. Now let's see which way to go. I would love to go to that house that we saw earlier, the, the wooden house. Maybe I should, maybe I should take my map out. This time I have a paper map, guys. You see, map like this. Sorry, I'm just looking at the map. I hope it's not blurred, is it? Come on. Come on, camera, behave. Oh, the castle is massive. But as I said at the beginning, it looks better. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, I, I need to show you this. There is this circle of trees nice 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 so yeah the castle looks better from like drone from above than uh, you know when you go on the ground level but i'm pretty sure it's amazing to see maybe i should have pay for it silly me Never mind. This video is gonna be long enough, guys, you know. As I said, if I come next time, which I might, because the castle looks very impressive, um, I'll just go straight to the castle, nowhere else. Let's go in through the secret door. Oh, this is 
is amazing. Oh, I don't know if this is the one, maybe not. But this is absolutely stunning. Let me just see. But one sec, one sec. I'm just gonna see what's going on here. Oh my gosh! Look on, look on the ceiling. And the decorations here. Look. It's from Santa's helpers. <laughs> okay, I need to back up here. Oh, this is stunning, these gardens. So beautiful. I love the color of that wooden, uh, what is it, wooden house. And check out these benches here. You can tell they are kind of handmade, right? Look. Okay, I need to touch that for one minute. Wow. Oh my god, <laughs> the water coming out is kind of blue. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it kinda, it's kind of blue. And look at those decorations there. This is amazing. Oh my god, I didn't expect this at all. Oh my goodness. Let me zoom in on those guys. Right there. There is a seashell on the top. Oh, this is magical. I absolutely love it. Thank God it's not raining, guys, because I would not want to be here in the rain. It looks so much different and so much nicer with the sunshine. Look at those colors. Oh my God, forget about thumbnail, the one before. This is the thumbnail, look at that. Amazing. Can you imagine the fun? Oh, look, they've got dogs here. They've got woof woofs right here. I didn't notice before. Let me zoom in quickly. Sausage. I think that's a sausage dog. palm trees fluffy palm trees guys look at all these fluff let me give you a little tropical 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 view you see
let me show let me show you my bikini I'm gonna be wearing in Thailand soon. <laughs> joking, joking. Of course not. Of course not. I'm gonna be wearing fig leaf instead, not a palm leaf. This is incredible. Wow. Would you call this pergola? I'm pretty sure that's pergola here. I've learned from Hampstead a few days ago. Leonard Smith helped me to decipher what it means. Look at this angle here. More palm trees. Oh my God, somebody has good taste here. You see, if I lived in England, like if I had my house in England, if I had a lot of money, it would have palm trees, <laughs> just like this. It makes it so much nicer. Do you remember I mentioned Santa, Santa's helpers? I think, I think we have the man himself right here. There is another beautiful wooden house behind there. Oh, I'm loving it, guys. It was so worth the one hour and a half on the train here. How much did I pay? I can't even remember. Uh, I'm going to guess 12, 12, 13 pounds. So worth coming here, guys. I love it. And then, of course, you've got the entry. So that was 14 pounds. But, you know, if you are tired of your location and want to see some tropical palm trees here and beautiful surroundings without the plane ticket, it's definitely worth coming. Look at that, I'm gonna get a tropical picture here, like that. Thank God for good weather, thank God for that. Wow, this door. You know, it looks something like in Bali, in Indonesia. I swear somebody, even these palm trees, that kind of wood and yeah I'm pretty sure that's something to do with Bali 
somebody is missing Bali, who is in charge here. Look at all these palm trees. And these are tiny, tiny doors. So we are in the tropics without the monkeys. The only monkey around here is me. <laughs> Look at that. Even this one is handmade. Look how fluffy, fluffy puppy, if you are watching, I don't know if you are as fluffy as this palm tree, <laughs> but it's very fluffy. And you see guys, I'm so happy I didn't decide, I decided not to go to Chichester today because I like to take my time. I don't want to be flying through. I want to talk nonsense. <laughs> wow, look at these palm trees. Like I could, I could fly through, of course, but I don't want to, I love it here. You know, I would have to go to catch the train to go to Chester and then potentially come back here to get a better price ticket. I can't remember how much, how it worked or take train back from there. I prefer to keep it on separate days and and enjoy myself. Look how, how gorgeous this is as, as well. Seriously, I feel like I'm in Bali. I think this is gardener's paradise, this place. You can get some ideas for your garden. These must be roots, right? I can't think of anything else, but so many of them. Boys and girls, we've got different kind of bench here. I'll show you in a minute. This looks amazing as well. Oh my God. 
there's literally a hole in the bushes. It's a, it's a bush donut. <laughs> My goodness. I'm just coming to see what's happening here. I will show you the bench in a minute. goodness how cute is this and the flowers all the colors you probably I don't know if you can see I'm uh, Bali again isn't it this kind of I need to read about these gardens and I know you call this the the special roof touched or I, I can't remember how you pronounce it I don't use these kind of words ever. But I know houses like this have a lot of spiders in there from my limited experience. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, I'm just practicing the echo, testing the echo. <laughs> Look at that. You see the, the spiders slide through the hay and climb in your mouth when you sleep. That's how it works. I will go back to the benches. I know I, I told you I'm gonna show it to you, but I saw shiny objects. <gasps> I see raspberries on my left. And quite big ones. I'll be a good girl and not pick them. <laughs> but they are tempting. This place is amazing. I'm literally, I did not expect anything like this coming here today. I can tell you that. Oh, I think, look at all these apples. Do you call this pergola as well? I think you do, right? And it has, it's a, it's a apple pergola. <laughs> has loads of apples that will fall on your head. What's happening here? That will fall on your head when they are ripe, for sure. to rearrange the brain cells, you know, back to factory settings again. Little poink poink on the head. Never heard anyone. The kiss of the sun. Uh, uh, uh. So you probably can't see that. Let's see guys, book your tickets, come here for a weekend or something. It's very nice to be here. Let's, let's see what's going on. Oh, I see it's compost. Compost. There is a greenhouse, I see. I don't know if that's, I think cucumbers, I'm not really sure. Oh my God. <laughs> Shit. I had a murder hornet getting stuck <laughs> for real in between my hat and my face. Oh my God, I, I could have end up pretty swollen. Oh, 
look, look. What I miss in England is poppy, poppy seeds, poppy seeds products. They are so delicious and you literally can't find them unless it's some crackers from somewhere like Poland or something. In some countries they put half a kilo of poppy seeds into into a like in a pastry you know like a like strudel kind of you know like a poppy seed strudel kind of thing it's delicious best thing ever oh this is gorgeous how to take a picture of this it's against the light so it's not great Yeah, real life, so much better than what my camera shows. Oh, and a nice bench there as well. Oh my gosh. Hopefully these guys don't come in my dreams tonight. They even have a little doggy here. <laughs> so, 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 where was I? I promised the bench, didn't I? Let me see. This would be so gorgeous if... So yeah, nothing extraordinary. Just this one here, I was gonna show you. Again, it's like handmade finish on the sides. I love it. And there is another hole here. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna change my charging situation here.
Oh, there is a tortoise in the water. Right there. Can you see the head? So I found that house, by the way. Sorry, I'm gonna turn the house, the wooden house that I saw from from the road. That's the one with the fountain. So we've been there, we found it. Now we are gonna go back to this central place here. Oh. This is a place for meow meow for one minute. I'm just gonna sit down for one minute. I'm fascinated by those wooden houses. I really like them. We are heading out, guys, don't worry. I'm just gonna say bye-bye to this gorgeous place. So yes, I'm very impressed. Look at this, some kind of flowers opening up. Look at this little alleyway to the bench on the top. <laughs> That's my kind of surroundings. There is another bench here on the on my left in the shade. And we came to a private place again. So in the end, it's a beautiful day. Thank goodness for that. Because it would not be the same in the rain. Let me just double check if I have my phone.
trying to fish out the map so I can make sure I've been to all the places here in uh, in these gardens. So this is the Fitzalan Chapel. There's a tiny bench there. That's a nice lion there. And there is one on the top as well, a small one. This is the same thing. Medieval sculptures formed the stop. Stop scooting out this. I'm just reading some stuff.
place is impressive. Look at that. Even the ceiling here. Love it. So beautiful, look at that. See, in this house, the spiders have to climb up the palm trees and by the time they actually get up, it's winter, so they can't jump into your mouth when it's when you sleep. <laughs> Unlike the other straw roof house that we saw a few minutes ago. There, they just slide down, whee, like that, straight in your mouth. Moral of the story, plant palm trees and don't don't have straw straw roof. Now let me see if there is anything interesting I'm missing. So there is American ground. I don't know if there is anything interesting. There are some ponds here as well, but it kind of looks a little bit further away from here on the other side of the castle. So I'm not sure if I'm really motivated to go all the way there 
I might actually ask somebody who knows if it's worth going there. So she's got a walkie-talkie. Does she? Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, yeah. So, ladies and gents, I checked. And apparently it's worth going to the ponds. So let's do a complete walk around so that you've got a good idea about the surroundings here. I spoke to a lady and she said it's nice there. So why not? I'm always up for being next to, next to the water. Oh my goodness, look at this. What a narrow kind of house. <laughs> That's like paying rent in uh, in New York or, or Hong Kong. You've got that kind of space, 2,000 pounds a month. <laughs> I saw some videos where, <laughs> where people were sitting on, on a step you know, on a staircase and the landlord would be charging them money for just occupying that space because, yeah, the prices are going crazy. I wish I had one of those cars. After a few hours of walking, that's the perfect solution. Oh, it smells so nice. Let me check the time. I have no idea what time it is. It's two o'clock, two thirteen. And I'm getting slightly tired, you know, from, from the walking. Like I still, I'm still gonna walk for at least an hour, I'm sure. But I can't imagine taking a, a train to Chich Chichester now and starting a completely new city from the scratch. You know, it's, it's not ideal. <laughs> Especially since I walk so slowly and I look at everything. So I'm taking my time here. Next time. I'm just gonna tilt my camera quickly for you. You know, guys, I'm dreading if I go, like when I go to Thailand, I, since I booked the ticket already, as you may know, and who knows if I go to Vietnam, if I go to Cambodia, uh, it's unlikely, but may maybe Pakistan, who knows? Um, I just got a one-way ticket for now. And I think of the scenario when if somebody snatches my equipment, um, and if I'm in a country, I don't know, let's say I would be in 
Lao or somewhere like that, um, I would be in a trouble. Hold on, this is the path. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Because my stuff is insured, but like they would probably not send send it abroad. They would send it to my address here in London, and. Obviously, I will be moving out completely. I'm not gonna keep the address. So it's a little bit tricky. Plus buying a new equipment, you know, it costs so much money and it might not be available in those countries. So fingers crossed guys. It's, it's a nightmare to think about stuff like that, imagine. Because I do plan to film, of course, you know, it's it's my hobby, as I said so many times since 2009, so it's it's automatic for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm sleepwalking and filming, so I can't imagine not to film. Oh my gosh, there is private stuff here. That's not what I want, but at least I can ask them. Oh, there is entry here. Oh, okay. Hi guys, to the ponds. This is perfect, thank you. So yeah, boys and girls, wish me luck on my trip. I would love to film as much as possible. But some of the places are too small to be walking around there, so it gets challenging. It gets a little bit challenging if I stay there for a month, month or two, you know, when all it takes is an hour or two to walk around the whole thing. So when I come back to London, I'll be homeless, uh, back to the hotel or wherever I end up, one of those situations. I don't know how long I'm gonna be gone. I guess for the winter, till April, May, I have no idea. Long time. Until, until the temperatures here in England are human friendly again, you know. <laughs> Oh my God, look at all of this. And of course, I do have second thoughts quite a lot about going. But as I said, I bought the ticket, so it is definitely happening. But it's just sad to be leaving friends behind. Oh, somebody did a great job. Look at that, perfect. Schneck, Schneck party, grass snakes, Schnecks. 
That's what they call them in uh, in Pakistan, in Karachi Beach. They've got a. They walk around the beach there with a basket, saying, "If I want to see snake show." <laughs> oh, it's funny. And they've got a real snake there, a real cobra. Ooh, there is a forbidden paradise right there. Jungle-like, what do we do? This is amazing right here. Looks very nice. Wow. That's where the anacondas live. There on, the, on my left. <laughs> Let's be good. Let's stay on the path. Look at these umbrellas. If it rains, they're big enough. I see some little fluffy birdies in the middle of the lake. I'm not gonna zoom in. Oh yeah, they're nice. But I actually might zoom in on this. And once I'm zooming in, you may as well see the birdies there, you see? Right now, I'm happy I didn't book the, the castle. I feel tired just by walking around the city a little bit and going to the gardens. <laughs> bye bye.
Bye, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I can imagine it gets busy during the weekends. Right now you got just school and stuff happening here. Guys, try and stay off the road, yeah? Stay on the path, okay? Yeah. Let's go by the river. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> look, look on the other side. Let me zoom in a little bit so you see that greenery there. <laughs> it flows pretty, pretty fast as you can see these pieces of green. They're moving pretty fast. Branches are taking my hat off.
Oh my god. The name of the of the place is called Edible <laughs> Edible Sandwich. Are you joking? <laughs> I would at least expect it to be edible <laughs> once I pay for it. Oh my dog. Maybe it's edible just once and then kaput. But you know what guys, it would be good to compare how many people, how many visitors this place gets compared to uh, Canterbury for example. If I remember correctly, Canterbury was getting 7.8 million people a year, visitors. I hope I'm getting it right. I'm pretty sure I am, um, according to Google. So, it would be interesting to compare this place here. I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. I'm just gonna... Okay, let's see just round the corner if there is anything interesting and I know there are a few a few roads here that I haven't explored This looks nice. The grass is amazing. I love the grass. So I think I've seen pretty much everything. I just chatted to a lady just now off the camera. And, and I told her what I've seen and I told her I didn't go to the left. As I went up the, st up the, up the street towards the cathedral, I didn't really turn left. I just went up the hill and I asked her if I'm missing anything important and she gave me permission to go home. <laughs> she said, not really, no. So I said, thank God, I'm tired. <laughs> so we are gonna walk towards the station now. Should I double check the map? Let me just see. Church. I know they've got wetlands in here, but we've seen the ponds. They were beautiful. And maybe that's what they call the wetlands as well. Who knows? I'm not sure. And the time now is around 2 p.m. That's quite a few hours before my train is supposed to go at 9 p.m. So wish me luck, guys. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to pay a fine. As I said, I've got the advanced, um, I've got a advanced single ticket and I'm supposed to use it at that time. So I made a mistake not booking it earlier since I thought I'm going to be going to Chichester today as well. But fingers crossed they will be nice. <laughs> Plus, going now is not really, what you call it, peak hour. So hopefully I will be forgiven. It's not like five, six, seven, you know, many people and stuff. So hopefully 
they will be gentle with meow meow <laughs> and they just nibble on me and don't bite don't bite my head off i'm thinking do i need something uh maybe yeah so ladies and gents i'm now walking towards the station and i'm going to leave you with a view of my little friends here they're having lunch and a siesta I'm going to end this video here. I don't want to bore you walking all the way to the station. There is not much happening. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Please press the like button. Please subscribe. Please leave me a comment if you know anything about the area or if you want to say hi. I love reading comments from you. And let's go on another adventure somewhere soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.